We got an update on that secret utility box, and if you're a collector that just enjoys the opportunity to pick up some of these really niche products, you're going to enjoy this. Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So we actually have uh, pictures of what you can expect more out of the secret utility box. This does come out in 1224. You'll be able to pick it up on eBay if you really want to collect these. All of these two bonus secret rares will all come with blue named uh, lettering. Now, you do notice something here, right? A majority of these are secret rares from the past or ghost rares. Um, of the equivalent here, which is definitely an interesting choice on Konami's behalf. Dark Honest just feels like an uh, an uh, honest waste, haha, <laughs> pun intended here. But you definitely tell here from like your choices of the past that uh, some of these cards were very, very good generic cards. Now down here is what we actually are here for. So you're going to get a special storage box, a special card case, a special duelist card protector, a hundred of these, and a special field center, special dice, and you can get one of six types of the design images. So the first one's going to be the Chaos Roller one. It's so interesting because the TCG bands, but you get his little crest on it. The box is fantastic. Like, this is gorgeous. And it comes with a purple dice. Zeus here, on the other hand, is going to be more mechanical based. You get his little head mounted on your thing here, which absolutely is nice. A little field center, too, for this it looks gorgeous. It will... Honestly, I think the, the color scheme for this is better than the Zeus, per se. Then we also get the Underworld Goddess. This looks gorgeous. The little symbol here. The box is amazing. Like, that is that is gorgeous. The dice, I feel like they kind of punted this with a gray color scheme. But alas, I'll take it. Uh, Lord of the Heavenly Sky Prison. Huh. This is a very useful... Huh. Uh, actually, it's a very interesting color scheme choice here for this. Considering the color of this, it gets the light blue dice as well. Huh. And then we also get the Psychic End Punisher. Straight green for Psychic with the lime green dice. And then we get the Divine Karate box as well. The dice color is amazing for this. Aye, this looks beautiful. I'll, I'll take this. This is good. And then, of course, down here, we're still missing a couple of cards for this. We do know that we're getting the Gaia. We know that we got the Photon, the Rocket that bridges the gap, and then the um, new Tuner. But uh, you're going to notice something here. The Hero card and the, uh, what would be, what is this, the Arc V card uh, for Pendulum. Both of these are missing. I am kind of curious to know what's going to come out of these two because if if the fact that we've been you know using fusion cards of like our rivals and like trying to create combinations you could see a hero card that ends up being a combination of like an armed dragon which would be very very interesting or an ojama hero oh i shudder at that thought and then something pendulum related down here it might actually end up being like an exceed monster or a synchro Pendulum based, something that, you know, would tie him to the other signer or to the other um, dragons. You know, he did have the Arc Rebellion. We could see maybe more Odd Eyes uh, Dark Rebellion support, but I don't know. It could also be like a Starving Venom Odd Eyes too. But it's definitely, we'll have to wait and see what comes for this. And then, of course, the reprints for this are interesting to say the least. So that is. The secret utility box, honestly, I'm I'm very curious to see here in the near future, you know, how well this does. I think the supplies are absolutely dead gorgeous. Like, they did a very good job with these. I think my personal favorite out of all of these, man, the red pops so much. I'm not a fan of the green. Um, the dice for this looks good. I, probably, honestly, Zeus and maybe the Chaos Roller. The box for Chaos Roller is an absolute win, but... Yeah, the dice is whatever. Yeah, I, I think Zeus might win, just strictly on the dice, next to probably the Underworld Goddess. So what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.